With laser beams, the body is scanned down to the smallest detail. This scanning procedure is usually used to measure the anatomy and muscle mass of today's competitive athletes. At the art collection of the University of Bonn, the data comes together to form a three-dimensional image of the antique statue. The first results are already telling. The body of Diadumenos is without doubt that of an athlete, not just a weekend sports enthusiast, but a highly trained sportsman. Probably a competitor in a combination event, in an ancient pentathlon, an expert in running, long jump and discus throwing. To find out more about the sports practiced in ancient Greece, scientists prepare a further experiment. At the German Sport University of Cologne, the staff at the Institute of Biomechanics wants to study the movement sequences in ancient sports and to use them to find out more about the performance capacity of the athletes. Yep. More than a dozen infrared and time-lapse cameras are enlisted in order to study something that in fact no longer exists. For these experiments, top athletes of today play the roles of their ancient forerunners. The first discipline, discus throwing, using an ancient discus. Mm. The director of the Institute of Biomechanics, Professor Gerd Peter Bruggemann, presumes that this discus demands a completely different throwing technique. Die Masse ist so groß, das ist die Trägheit ist so groß, ich mhm. kann mir nicht vorstellen, mhm. dass man hier, also dass auch die antiken Sportler in der Lage waren, hier dieses mit Drehung zu werfen, wie mhm. wir heute in den Diskus werfen. An antique discus could be much heavier and larger than today's model. No easy feat for our first experimental Olympic athlete. Matthias Spahn, German decathlon champion, speciality, discus throwing. Small round reflectors are affixed to his body. When infrared light meets these balls, they begin to glow. This remains invisible to the human eye, but not for the infrared cameras that surround him. On the computer screen, the glowing spots come together to form a stick figure. Okay, are you ready? And los geht's. Yeah. And perfect. Noch eine Sekunde. First, Gerd Peter Bruggemann and his team analyze the movements in a modern discus throw. And los geht's. We can see that the athlete does one and a half rotations that accelerate the discus to more than 60 kilometers per hour. Jawohl, sehr gut. So, kommen wir zum antiken Sportgerät. Deutlich mehr Masse. Ja. Pass auf, dass jetzt der Diskus nicht abkippt. Das heißt, du musst sehr wahrscheinlich die Technik etwas ändern, nicht mehr mit gestrecktem Arm, sondern mit gebeugtem Arm, damit du vermeidest, dass er nach innen abfällt. Also auch der Rücksprung schon mit gebeugtem Arm. Und dann müsste das gegebenenfalls funktionieren. Probier's doch aus. Ja, ich bin gespannt. Five point seven kilograms instead of only two, thirty-four centimeters in diameter instead of twenty-two. That takes muscles. Jetzt haben wir das antike Wurfgerät, ja? Ja, genau. Das ist ein antike. Er macht genau das, was wir eigentlich prognostiziert haben, ja? Er beugt den Arm in der Ausholbewegung, um zwangsläufig einfach um den Diskus senkrecht zu stellen, damit er nicht abkippt. Ja. Dort, ja. ja? Hat damit natürlich einen geringeren Radius. Only after several attempts does Matthias Spahn master throwing the antique discus. Sehr gut. 
In the time-lapse sequence, the differences are readily apparent. In today's discus throw, the lighter weight allows for a more refined technique. Here, it's all about speed and precision. With the heavy discus of old, distance is attained through pure power. In comparison with the modern discus, he manages just a little more than half the distance. To sum up, the ancient discus throwers must be real muscle men. Only one throwing distance is recorded, the accuracy of which is however much debated by the historians, 28 meters. If this record was achieved using a discus as heavy as the one in this experiment, then we can only say, hats off to the ancient Greeks. The experiments have actually shown that the antique sportler nicht allein war, nicht allein Sportler war, sondern er hatte bestimmt Berater oder er hat sehr intelligent darüber nachgedacht, wie er Bewegungstechniken optimiert, wie er auch Hilfsmittel sich anverleibt, um seine Bewegung zu verbessern. Folglich müssen wir davon ausgehen, dass es nicht nur um das Teilnehmen ging, sondern im Wesentlichen um das Siegen ging.